Hey, it's Anna. I'm out on a uh, very, very wet Sunday morning, so this is the last bit of mushroom hunting I'm going to do. Um, I've come across a very common species uh, for the fall. It is an edible mushroom. The uh, Latin name of it is Lisseria ochropurpurea. Uh, I uh, use the ochropurpurea and think purple in my mind in order to remember the Latin name. So there are a couple of uh, purple mushrooms that we have. One is a cortinarius, um, which is just basically a cap and stem mushroom that has a little sort of cobwebby ring on the stem. We also have Clytosabe nuda, which is a uh, sort of bluish purple edible mushroom that is uh, a common wood decomposer. And then uh, the third sort of pretty common uh, purple mushroom is this uh, Lisseria. And they are edible, they're a little bit on the tough side, so you need to cook them pretty thoroughly. Uh, but I'll give you the identification features because they're quite abundant. Mycorrhizal, meaning they come back in the same place every year, uh, associated with a tree or plant partner. So, um, you know, cap and stem mushroom, nothing all that remarkable there. Uh, the color of the mushroom on sort of the cap is usually sort of a lilac pinky color. Uh, sometimes it's gonna have like a, a whitish sort of overlay to it. So sometimes it almost looks like just barely purple and more on the white buff side of things. Um, you oftentimes have a little, you know, divot in the middle here. That is not a universal feature, but you oftentimes do see that. Um, the stem itself is uh, naked, so, you know, the uh, sort of important differentiation between this and other mushrooms is that Cortinarius, uh, purple Cortinarius, does have a ring on the stem, but this does not. Uh, you'll oftentimes see some streaking as uh, the mushroom matures and is damaged. But um, the most, uh, you know, distinctive feature of this mushroom by far are the gills, which are this sort of like cartoony uh, purple, like, um, I don't know, you know, uh, a psychedelic purple um, elephant that people always talk about when folks freak out on LSD. It's kind of that color. Uh, so, you know, not only do you have this uh, really beautiful uh, hue, they're also very thick and deep gills. So sometimes you'll see a mushroom and the gills are not uh, very significant in size, but these are really, you know, what, that's about uh, the size of my um, fingernail. So, you know, very deep, very brittle as well. Uh, and so, you know, that's a really distinguishing feature. But again, you know, with bluets and also with the purple quartz, the real big difference is the, um, you know, the color of these gills. And so, you know, these are a very, very uh, lightish purple, whereas bluets are more in the like darker blue purple neighborhood, sometimes even a little brown. And then uh, Cortinarius, uh, again, has that sort of um, ring. Uh, it's called a cortina. It's just basically a cobwebby ring that you'll see on the stem. So uh, anyway, I'm going to bring these with me. I'm going to make them into some sort of stew. Again, they're, they're pretty uh, rough and tough, so you need to spend a little bit of time preparing them, but they are uh, quite pleasant and very abundant.